Hey all, welcome to Ninja Bell Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers KO Masterpiece MP30 Ratchet. And I got this from as a surprise from Ugly Wretch, and wow, I mean, I'm blown away. Wow, yes, this is a KO, but I dig it, considering that I broke my, my original uh, Masterpiece uh, Ratchet, broke them right at the waist, uh, um, this, this, wow, <laughs> I mean... Just wow. But before we get to this guy, I'm going to take a look at everything. Take a look at the box. We'll take a look at what's inside the box. And then we'll take a look at the main toy itself. So be right back with that. Okay, and here is the packaging. And look at that. It says Transformers, Masterpiece, Nissan. Right, going on right there. So it's officially licensed, even though this is a KO. So, you know, it says Takar Tomy. Again, KO. I haven't got any of the stickers on, so it won't look exactly like this. Let's stuff go MP30, uh, Cybertronian Medic, Ratchet, Nissan Cherry Vanette. There's the bottom of the box. Here is one side of the box. Here is the other. Here is the top, which I've got upside down. There you go, there's the top. There is the back, which shows off all the information about him going on. There is the vehicle mode, all the various uh, accoutrements he, he has, the things you can do, like he can fit inside, you know, uh, Masterpiece Prime's trailer. All of, Once again, all the various stuff he comes with, which I'll showcase. Here's a list of... of now, this I wish uh, um, they did on, you know, at least on the inserts, the instructions... They gave a nice list of everything that to come with. Well, I guess they kind of do already, but anyway, moving on. This is this is cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this box and we'll take a look at everything that comes inside because I haven't used everything or played around with everything yet. So go ahead and take this out. Set the box down. There we go. That was another box. So comes with this uh, uh, nice platform that's more stuff falling out this nice platform on which you can set up uh, a bunch of all his you know accessories comes with that over the shoulder uh, can in there this this one comes with a missile which will fit in there i've got the two uh, pistols with him right now so that's that moving right along set that aside here is a secondary thing, comes with an additional face, and we'll take a look at that right now. There's the additional face, so, why does that nose look all guffed up? I see, this is the first time I've opened this one, so, I, I don't know, with the, there we go, focus, yeah, man, look at that, it's messed up, yeah, look at that. So, hey, again, this is a KO, but there you go. So, big chip in the nose. So, wow. I mean, look at that. Wow. So, this is the first time I've actually looked at this stuff that's inside here. So, uh, um, you're seeing what I'm seeing. Some wrenches. So, they look pretty good. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a wrench. So, I mean... Put this back on so everything doesn't fall back out when I tilt it up. So it comes with you know uh, additional uh, pistol, another one that'll go plug into his uh, forearm right up here. There's the wrenches, various tools and implements. So pretty cool, blast effect. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff indeed. So we'll zoom out a bit, zoom back out. There we go. So yeah, lot, lots of stuff that it comes with. And finally, it comes with an instruction booklet. And inside that instruction booklet, will also you'll also get some other stuff. You will get a insert for the windshield. Pretty cool. You get a card. So I dig it. Shows all the stats. There's the reverse image on that card. I like that a lot. Also comes with a sticker sheet. And again, I have not applied these. I haven't decided if I'm actually going to apply them. 
but I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So, <laughs> so put all that stuff back in there and we will slip it back in here and then we will move, be right back with the figure itself. And yeah, so be right back. There you go, you reversed into the garage there. So here we are, we're looking at the figure and a quick size comparison there is with a Studio Series 86 cup. Just to give you a feel for the scale of this guy. Um, I just like, I, I like it a lot. I don't care if this is not in scale with, with other figures in my collection. So yeah, I mean, he's, 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 he's cool. Uh, there's a blur. So yeah, I mean, still same length anyway so anyway we'll get him out of there uh why not bring in shadow panther there you go <laughs> there you go don't get that right out of there i haven't reviewed this guy I, i'm i don't like this mold i don't like it. moving on uh, um that's not why we're here so anyway here we are pretty cool nice white color nice silver rims Hard plastic uh, tires, unfortunately. Again, this is a KO. Would have been nice if they had been rubber. So, green windows. Mine's got some sort of scuffing going on. Look at that. Right there. See that? Yeah, look at that. Looks like somebody put a cigarette out or something on it. That's, it, yeah. Yeah. But other than that, you know, it it's, it looks really good. I, I, I like it a lot. Nice lights going on, chrome bumper, windshield wiper on the reverse window there, rear window. There's those two weapons I was talking about. That's how, how they'll store. I even like the blue windows. I do. They're actually sort of a turquoise green clear, but, you know, still nice light bar up there. And what with that light bar that goes in like this for transformation, so it hides it away. So you can also store some weapons up in here, um, but yeah, pretty cool. All in all, there's the front. Nice Autobot sticker going on there. It is red on a silver background. Chrome lights, chrome bumper, orange down here. Pretty cool. Once again, there is the bottom, top, reverse, front, and the other side. And I dig him. I dig him a lot. I dig him a lot. Now, um... Transformation here, I, I've, I've debated whether to transform him on screen. Uh, um, it's it's one of those things where it... Um, I, I, I'm probably not going to do it. I think I'm just going to skip and go right to the robot mode because, uh, frankly, he's he's got some complicated bits in him that I, I, I kind of scare me and I take my time transforming him and that's going to be a lot of time on here. Uh, um... I, you know, some someone might might suggest you know I do a time lapse you know when just, I just take my time transforming it and then do a time lapse. I may do that. I'm not sure yet. Uh, um, but uh, oh, why not? And here we have him in his robot mode. And yeah, I like him a lot. Let me raise up my camera here. Whoop. And yeah, I, I I dig him a lot actually. Let's drop this a bit. And yeah, I I, I like him. Now once again, uh, um, I don't have him completely transformed the correct way because maybe it's because it's a KO. But um, these heel spurs do not want to fold out. It's supposed to fold out on that joint right there, but they are so tight. I'm more than likely to pull off, and it actually started. There's chrome pieces that actually get this to flip out properly. So, uh, um, yeah, he's going to laugh. He's just going to have to, you know, sit on the shelf like that. Unfortunate, but true. Let me turn that so it looks right. But, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, and then he falls down again because those I can't get those heel spurs out. So, you know, I I, I wish I could, but I can't. Uh, um, I love him. I do love him. Nice Autobot symbol going on up there that was on the front. I love how everything collapses in here. And, of course, you can put that insert in there, you know, and he does have some molded details in there. Pretty nice. And you can, you know, drop this down. But yeah, man, it's just, I love it. 
I love it a lot. Lots of white, too white. Like I said, if I put on the stickers, that'll probably take care of it. He's got some nice die cast parts in him. So, uh, um, one thing is I have some really loose joints uh, on mine. So, you know, it's, uh, um, I can fix that. Some floor polish though, but as you can see, they're really loose. Uh, um, for articulation, the head does rotate, does hold, hold swivel, goes all the way around. Got a good bit of up, good bit of down. Uh, um, you got a separate joint there for more if you need it. Um, of course, that tabs in. Uh, um, nice face though. Better than the broken one that's the alternate. And for that, you just slide this out to replace the face. But yeah, I, I like this one. I like this a lot. Um, for more articulation, soft ratchet. Up that far, back that far. Got a nice ratchet out that far. Up, whoops, and yeah, this likes to kind of untabbed a lot. There you go. So, yeah, bring that back down. That again, came untabbed. <laughs> Maybe again, because it's a KO, I'm not sure. But anyway, you have a bicep swivel. Mine's really tight, and more tight than it probably needs to be. You got 90 degrees there. You do have a uh, wrist swivel. The fingers on a base pin right there. So they'll move in and out. They're typewriter hands, unfortunately. And with that slot in there, you can take these weapons. These were the two that were underneath it. Get a good look at those. Nice. That tab right there will fit into the hand. See if I can get that on here. There we go. Get that hand in there. Get it in. Come on. Come on. There you go. Close the fingers around it. And yeah, he holds it really well. So, and it comes with two of those, so I can have one in each hand. Go ahead and get that out of there. Go, go ahead. But yeah, so does have a wrist swivel at least. Does have a waist swivel. These just do not like to stay in place. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do a step. These are supposed to fold in <laughs> and tab in. There we go. Totally forgot to do that step, but yeah, these are supposed to be like this. So, yeah, anyway, I don't know why I always forget to do that step. It should be fairly obvious, but I do. So, once again, there he is from the back. Uh, um, legs will go out that far, much farther. If you take the, you know, if you let this out, it'll go out farther. You do have hip skirts right there to get out of your way so you can move them forward. This one holds pretty well, actually. Uh, um, same on the other side, do have on a universal joint, thigh swivel, got a swivel right above the knee as well, for the knees you have about, just a little shy of 90 degrees, still pretty good, now one step most people forget, and you can have that look if you want, is pull that down, that gives you, you know, not much more articulation, but that's how it's supposed to be, you have a nice rocker on that, bit of up, bit of down, so, you know, not bad all in all. Not bad. Not bad at all. And I really do like this guy. Uh, quick uh, comparison. How about a Titans Return leader class figure? That would be Blaster. Um, he's a pretty large scale. Uh, let's see. Uh, what about uh, bring in Studio Series Slag? So there they are together. And I like them. Uh, here's the Legacy class. Blaster, so there you go for some nice comparisons. Get it out of the way. I'm not I'm just not experienced enough with the masterpieces to you know do a regular type review that I like to do. Get him out of there. And wow, I just wow. I mean, other than a few little problems with this, uh, aesthetic problems like with that other face and going on right here. Um, the, some of the joints being loose. I mean, I, I can take care of that stuff. I can take it. I could probably even polish that, eventually polish that out. So I'm not too worried about that on the windshield because I could probably, I could probably polish that out. Um, so I could probably get rid of that. But, you know, uh, other than some of the loose joints, which again, I can easily fix, you know, uh, um, that one's going to be more of a problem because you really should be, I should, really should be able to, you know, swing that out to get it but uh no no this thing it was i had it out once before 
And I kept telling myself when I transformed it back to uh, his van mode, his alt mode, not to push those in all the way. Because it seemed like it was going to be a hassle. And then I did it anyway. You know, and uh, I regret do I regret that so much right now. But anyway, he's pretty clean. No no waffling going on there. I like it. I, I, I even don't mind the windows going on here. I don't mind that at all. I like him. Clean backpack. Clean backpack. I will give it that. So, you know, and some people will be disappointed I didn't do the transformation. But, you know, it's one of those things where uh, um, I just... <sighs> I don't have enough experience with filming masterpieces. We all saw that with Purple Potato. Uh, um, so, you know, I, I don't have enough experience w working with these behind the camera to do that uh, successfully. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This has been my look at the KO Masterpiece MP30 Ratchet. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Check out my playlist, click the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not already, and about everything else. Oh, and uh, if you feel like donating to the channel, please click the Patreon link in the description below. And above everything else, be good to each other. Hey, look at that. Right after the video ended, I managed to get them open. <laughs> <laughs> little bonus for you guys so now he you know he, he stands just fine he, there you go he stands just fine <laughs> but that's that's how it's supposed to look so I, I had to use a spudger to get that open because man that just was not opening so yeah really really tight so yeah <laughs>